The Lewis structure of copper to iodide. Copper comes from the left-hand side of this staircase, so it is a metal. And iodine comes from the right-hand side of that staircase, so it's a non-metal. That's important because metals and non-metals always combine to make ionic compounds, and that occurs by a transfer of electrons. Let's watch how that might happen. Iodine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons with it. I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that shortcut that I just showed you, group 17, seven electrons, does not work here in the transition metal section because each of these can have more than one possible charge. So your job is going to be to determine what the charge on copper is and give it that many valence electrons. If you're given the name, it says it right there, copper two iodide, charges two. But it's also here in the formula with this two on iodide. If copper brings a charge of plus two and iodine brings a charge of minus one, they crisscross to give you CuI2. Either way, I want you to draw a copper with two valence electrons. Now, the other thing to know here is that non-metals want eight electrons in their outer shell. That's called the octet rule, and it makes them stable. Iodine brought seven, so it needs one more electron to make the full outer shell of eight. Copper will donate one electron to make it happen. And that's great, that makes this iodine stable, but the copper atom still has one extra electron. Where is it going to go? The answer is another iodine atom with its seven valence electrons will happily accept it. So I'm going to draw that acceptance happening. Now I've got my copper having given away all its electrons, like metals do, and the iodines completing their octets to give a full outer shell of eight. The completed Lewis structure here has copper with no electrons around it because it gave away its valence electrons and a charge of plus two. Each of the iodines will need to get drawn and these iodines brought seven electrons and have an eighth now because they took it from copper. That means they have a minus one charge, one extra negatively charged electron. You'll have to draw two of them because you needed two of them to accept the electrons from copper. This is the completed Lewis structure. This is you showing the transfer happening from atom to atom. Congratulations, you did it, but I knew you could because I believe in you. Best of luck.